back. Did you know Dick Hauser lost his first 11 games in the playoffs as manager of the Yankees in 1980 and then with the Royals? He started his career as a manager 0-11 in the playoffs. Every Royals fan knows this, though, that the club's three retired numbers are 5, 10, and 20. But did you know Hauser's number 10 was the first to be retired? Hauser passed away 30 years ago yesterday, less than two years after guiding the Royals to the 1985 World Series title. I had a chance today to visit with Kurt Nelson, the director of the Royals Hall of Fame, and former Royal Greg Pryor, who knew Dick Hauser just as well, if not better, than anybody who played on those Royals teams in the 80s. The Yankees won 103 games in 1980, but after they were swept by the Royals in the ALCS, Yankees owner George Steinbrenner fired his manager, Dick Hauser. That led, that opened the door for him to, to become the Royals manager not even a year later. So that's really, you know, had it not been for a loss to the Royals, uh, maybe Dick would have never been here in Kansas City as manager. Dick Hauser, uh, who uh, died 30 years ago yesterday, uh, was kind of like a father-like figure in my career. It was almost like when I got traded the, to the Royals in 82 that I was getting back to be around an old friend of mine that I had really not met. So then when I got here and, uh, and Dick uh, would put me in the lineup for George or Frank or whoever, he showed a confidence in me that uh, brought the best out in me. He was the perfect manager for a team like the, the 1985 Royals. And he did, they did take on his personality because he did have sort of a commanding presence. He would get in front of us and he'd say, look, I got two rules, be on time and hustle. And I'm thinking, well, that about covers it all, you know? And uh, we all loved him. We all went out and tried to win. And uh, it was a, a great experience here with, with Dick Hauser. You know, he was a small guy, uh, but, he, you know, he had, he, the competitive spirit of Dick Hauser would come out in, uh, in, in force when it needed to come out. And you can see it in some arguments with, with umpires and things like that, but you can also see it in the way his team would perform in times when, when their back was up against the wall. And that was certainly the case in 1985. And of course, they, they brought home the world championship. I, I think that uh, if you look back on his career, uh, being fired by the Yankees when he won over 100 games and then uh, having the Royals with the foresight to hire him here in 81, well, what a great uh, ch a choice for the Royals to make to get a guy that had been uh, an all-star, had been a uh, shortstop in the big leagues, had been a coach for uh, two World Series teams at, the, at third base. And then uh, and luckily for us, luckily for Royals fans, Dick Hauser was available in 81. He got here and we had some of the best years in, in the Royals baseball, some of the best memories, and he was the guy that was in the dugout right now at the lineup. Missouri Governor John Ashcroft, Kansas Governor Mike Hayden, and Kansas City Mayor Richard Berkeley have all proclaimed today Dick Hauser Day. Dick passed away on, on June 17th of 1987, and there were already sort of, there were already plans to put him into the, the Royals Hall of Fame and have his number 10 be the first number retired. That was going to happen on July 3rd. It was a Friday night doubleheader against the Blue Jays. The Royals had a walk-off win, and it was a really sort of a special walk-off win because if you walk out here in the outfield experience and you see the three statues here on Dick Hauser night, 10 hits, Frank White driving in, George Brett with the winning run. It was a really special night.